Alright, hey there. Uh, just gonna be going through a bag real quick here. This is my go bag. Everything in this video is uh, my own opinion. I am no expert in anything. Uh, I am a paramedic. I've been a paramedic for four years, EMTB for three. Worked with uh, alongside disaster relief, worked at emergency management centers. Uh, worked uh, municipal and private as a paramedic. Uh, worked close with police. Um, so, there you go. That's my experience. Uh, this is just one of my go bags. I got a lot of different bags. Um, real quick, you'll see this is not a big tactical bag. Just a, uh, like I think a Musette bag I picked up from the Army Navy surplus store. I really like it. Um, the tabs work really great if you know how to use them. I really like these bags. Uh, this is just stuff I've thrown in here and I just keep it by the door. Uh, throw this in a car on a road trip or something. This is just a bag I kind of grab and go with. Take a look at it. First thing you see, it's got some crap sticking out of it. It's actually pretty comfortable. I wear this, run around with it. First thing out here, we got a couple knives. Um, got three big ass knives. This is a uh, twenty dollar Winchester Bowie knife. Uh, good YouTube videos out there. It's a twenty dollar knife. Uh, you can baton with this. You can do some good stuff with it. Twenty bucks if it breaks. I'm not really gonna be upset. Um, big promoter. Cheaper than dirt. Rough use knives. Ten dollars. God, these knives are good. Uh, if anybody watches the NOS knife testing channel, he beat the hell out of one of these, and it did great. And for 10 bucks, I am not going to cry if I drop this in the river. I might, you know, kick my friend's ass for dropping it in the river, but I'm not going to cry over losing it. They're great knives. Uh, there's some good videos out there. Check them out. Uh, large piece of canvas. Uh, I'm a big fan of canvas. People don't like it because it's heavy and stuff. This is something I throw in the car, just go with. Uh, it's great. I've taken this when we go shooting, uh, just on a picnic. It's essentially just a heavy piece of canvas. I waterproofed it, sewed a hem to it. It's great. It's got multiple uses, so it's in there. Um, open up the bag. Got a lot of stuff. Got an actual tarp. This is just a cheap IKEA tarp. It's I think a five or a seven by nine. It's a tarp. Real nice. There are a bunch of tarps out there. Watch videos for. Them. Uh, don't really have stuff for you. It's just kind of crammed in here. Got a bunch of paracord in here. Uh, good videos you should know about paracord and how to use it. Good 550 cord. Uh, uh, Fastglide.com. They got some good, good paracord. Uh, went to the uh, REI. Got some uh, tent stakes. They run about a dollar each. I got a good eight of them. Set up a tarp, set up a snare, set up a trap, whatever. Got a couple little tarps right there. This is my camping bag, whatever. Hat, keep you warm. Little fleece hat. Look your best. Stay warm. A um, couple of uh, heavy duty Ziplocs. Great if I gotta catch something in there. Zip ties. I don't see enough people talking about zip ties. Hardware store bag of about 111 inch cable ties. I can make handcuffs with these. If I gotta build a shelter or something, it beats the hell out of time, paracord sometimes. I mean, they got a thousand uses, real world people. Get some zip ties, they don't take up space. Um, kind of a catch all. This is a big ass steel cup I got from Ikea. I like to cherry pick when I see good things. Um, I could probably boil water in here. It's actually got measuring lines in there. Ikea, you know, sometimes you find stuff where you find it. I got some uh, rope in there. I got an Esbit stove. Good videos on Esbit stoves. Big fan. Get an Esbit. Uh, e s b e t e s b i t. It's German. A uh, little thing of Vaseline. Get them at uh, Target. They're great. Forty nine cents. I got uh, some breath mints. Breath mints, people. Can I get some breath mints? Uh, some matches in there. Got some small tissues. These are just little red roof complimentary tissues. These were great kindling with the Vaseline. I mean, it's living the real world. A uh, bunch of cotton balls mixed with the gasoline, with the gasoline, well, you could, uh, with the Vaseline. And hey, I got Tinder. Also, just whatever I need that for. Uh, this is a bag I throw in my car normally and I do road trips, go out shooting in Wisconsin, go out to the field or something. So I keep a bunch of rain ponchos in here. Disposable rain ponchos. I'm constantly giving them out. Everybody knows it. Water purification bag. I got three different forms of water purification. I got the uh, Ketadyne Micro Pure water tabs. Those are great. I got the Potable Aqua uh, water purification tabs, obviously. And I got the um, Chloroflock water purification tablets. Um, it's a flocking agent, so you got to separate the water. Uh, Chloroflock 
water, I, there's good videos out there. Um, you should have multiple systems of water purification besides just boiling. Fire, here's my little fire kit. I got a Swedish fire steel in there. I can start some fire. I got some waterproof matches. I got a magnesium block. I got a candle. Got all weather matches in the little tin there. And uh, fire paste. I don't see a lot of people talking about fire paste. It's great. You start, you got most stores, you just squeeze it out there. Start kindling on anything. It's fire paste. Look it up. It's good. Um, let's not forget the basics, people. Um, there's, also a, there's also a wire saw. Because with fire, you need fuel. So I keep my wire saw with my fire stuff. Because I need, you know, that's where I'll need it. I'd rather have these together. That's my opinion. Pot grabber. Um, this actually works great. It's in the wrong bag. That should be, this is, I use for a Nalgene Steel Gaiu water bottle. They get hot, so you need a little pot grabber. 75 cents at REI, folks. Get a pot grabber. Uh, buck knife. This is the, I forget. I'll annotate it because apparently this is going on YouTube so there'll be an annotation on there but it's a nice little buck knife real nice uh, if anybody's looking at it it may match mentally a kin you may have seen something similar to it at a better gauge steel but it's similar and I got it because it's like the tops uh, EXCT alpha knife you can do a Google search on that that's a kick-ass knife but it's about a hundred bucks or more uh, this was actually about 30 bucks. It's by Buck, and it's kind of thick. It's got some good uh, serrations or jimping, whatever the hell you want to call it, on the back. I could baton some a bit of wood with this. This I could work for fire, skin it. It's pretty easy. It's a hollow grind on there. You can reshape that blade into a convex if you want. But there you go. A little Buck knife, just something you have. This is just in my bag there. Uh, this one, they have some binoculars, but a friend of mine broke them. I wonder where he is. I haven't seen him <laughs> around recently. Um, hand sanitizer, it's important. These are just some straps. You can tie straps. I got a crap fall on the floor. Uh, these are straps. These are, again, Ikea, where I got the tarp. These are good straps. You can strap stuff down with this. These are webbing. They've got some good weight. Um, it's like two bucks. Cherry picked it on the way out by Ikea. Um, JB Weld. I don't see a lot, again, a lot of things in my personal opinion that I think are really good that I don't see a lot of people talking JB Weld. Um, waterproof, heat resistant, you can solder, essentially it's like soldering. Uh, JB Weld, look into it. Check out some YouTube videos, just read the packaging. It's good to have, do repairs on stuff out there. Um, just a Coleman brand emergency blanket, space blanket. I got other space blankets, but space blanket's never harmful to have, it's in there. Military style canteen with, uh, with belt. Uh, again, this is just, this is not the tactical bag. This is just a go bag. I throw this in my car when I go camping, go out shooting in the woods, go out somewhere. Just stuff you might need. Uh, well, my favorite, this is the old uh, U.S. Uh, personal, like, med, uh, mess kit. I like it. I'm a big fan. Out of the field, go camping, want to eat. Then go ahead, go to REI, get yourself the GSI um, cooking set. That's a little, uh, folds down, but that's a ladle. That's a strainer, and there's a little spatula. Oh, works great. Some things don't have to be tactical. We can go to our friends in the ultralight hiking community. They got good stuff. Salt and pepper shaker, because I like to season my food. Extra pack of matches with that. Um, uh, the John Wayne or P38 uh, or 58 uh, can opener, and some steel cook uh, cutlery there. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, this is just something I have throw out if I go out camping a day out in the woods. You know, I don't look like it, but I'm actually kind of rugged. I can handle myself in the woods. But go camping or something, throw it in my car. There you go. A um, couple more Ziploc bags. Again, why no promotion on the big freezer Ziploc bags? They're great. You can put water in them. So, there you go. I think we got something in the side here. What do we got? Uh, some tiki candles just floating around on the side. You should know how to use them. And then, um, from a hotel, these are actual little... Um, uh, shower caps, which actually work for keeping your hat and your head dry, but also you can conserve heat. Uh, take a look at it. Mylar is not generating heat. It's creating artificial uh, weather around your head because it's airtight, so the wind doesn't convect the heat away. But there you go. There's a bag. It's a little musette bag. It's a bunch of crap I threw in it. I think it's great. Um, here's my Coke that I'm drinking. This is not sponsored by Coke. But there you go. Um, 
rough use knife. That's the uh, spear point. Pretty good knife, 10 bucks. I mean, this is again, stuff that I throw in my car just to always have in there. Besides, a, obviously, nice big ass first aid kit because I'm a paramedic. But there you go, folks. That's life. That's my thoughts, opinions. Post your comments, I guess, going on YouTube. Tell me what you think. Have fun. God bless America.